Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and I'm in today's tutorial on natural language processing with JavaScript. Trying to see how to work with compromise in, and use it to work with numbers, right? How to pass numbers and how to work with data. So first of all, let's see how to do that. So we are going to create a simple var. So this is going to be, we, are, we just need this particular script to post everything on the client side. I'm going to create a simple var of num1, right? Number. And I'm going to create an NLP. So this NLP is coming straight from here. I'm going to put in a value. So the value I want to put in, let's say 57, right? I want to convert 57 into numbers. So how do you do that? How to pass this particular test into numbers? So that is quite simple. Console.log, then num one dot values, values, and then these values will take says the particular stuff I want to do. So to number, to number, right? So that's how it's going to be then i can give it the output so the particular kind of output i want that can be out then this output take a test right this is one of the first method of giving the output so i save this i'm going to convert 57 to numbers for us so i said i just converted to 57 which is very very intuitive right okay so this thing can be done in a different method of so this being as a test we can also do it can also do it in a different format of instead of this I just go with the normal test right the so test and it's still going to work for us just like in the previous tutorial that we learned perfect so 57 it's also working okay, perfect so that's not the only thing you can also do you can also convert the number to ordinals and then cardinals right so let's see how to do that so how do you convert this number to ordinals to convert this number to ordinals you're going to change it from here to ordinal right to ordinal and then it's going to convert this particular test that we had to ordinal so ordinal is the one with like the how do you call it th right so 57 it is very very intuitive so this 57 if you ever want to convert it to cardinal 2 i can also convert it with the same format of this and then i'm going to change this one from 2 to cardinal i'm going to convert this particular stuff to cardinal for us so in case i have something like this let's give it as bar two for the second one bar two and then here let's make it as yeah 57 that we had for the previous one and then i want to convert that one to cardinal so 57 so let's run it so what is it that this one 57 was converted to ordinal and then 57 was converted to cardinal which is quite interesting and very very Intuitive. So that is what some of the things you can also do. You can also add a to, to number to it and then convert it to a number with this particular step and it's still going to work. Okay, so let's see how again to work with some other stuff. So we can also do addition and then also subtraction. So let's increment to so subtraction. Subtraction. So now how do you do that? So it's going to be the same format. Let's add it like console.log then number. Let me copy this on and paste. So if I want to add a particular number, let's say I want to add five to this particular number. So to work on this, we can just go straight away with the two values here. Then here I'm going to go with add, right? The value that I want to add. So I want to add a particular value. So what value do I want to add to the 57? I can let's say I want to add three to it to convert to 60. Then when I add three, I'm just going to two test, right? I can go with two test. Then it's going to work or this is going to convert it to test for us so it has given us some particular value so if i want to get this particular stuff here i can make it let's go with the simple one that we have been doing with so out out then test So it's going to convert it to test for us, right? So 68, which is very interesting. So it's going to convert to 68. The reason it's giving us the 68 is that it's still running together with the ordinal stuff. That is why it's still giving us a 68. So that means that it's actually working perfect. Okay, which is cool, right? You can also do subtraction with this particular stuff. And now we're not going to go with this. Let's change it to something different. 
to number then to let's give it as test right so that we see something different so i can also subtract something from it so if i want to subtract sub subtract i want to subtract let's say 10 from it so that we go back to 50 i run it perfect see that this was able to work 60th and then this one has been converted to 50 50 which is quite interesting we can do a lot of things with this particular package when it comes to numbers okay so now let's see how to work again with one last thing which is increment so to work with increment you can just do the same format that we had here and then instead of making it add you can just go with increment right so increment is not just increment it so increment go to add a, a particular number to it right add increment of one so 51st which is very very intuitive right very very nice okay so this is one thing you can do with it you can also do decrement also okay now let's check some other stuff you can also do with the dates right so we'll be working with dates so how do you work with dates so let me comment all this thing out now let's start up with show for the dates i'm going to give it a sentence so bar example three right then this example that i'm going to, I'm going to put in something so i will be traveling can't spell travel be traveling next friday right so instead of making it fry i'm just going to go with fry right so it will be it's, it's very intuitive to the point that you to detect this is as a date so if i go with console sorry console dot log then es3 es3 dot dates right i go with date to be able to identify the date for us then let's give it as a data or let's give it as test so that just give it to us straight away test and i'm going to convert it to test for us Perfect. So next try. So it's able to detect that next try is a date. So if I want it in a long form, I can actually do that with this particular stuff of converting it to a long form. So how do I do that? It's quite simple. To convert it to a long form, just go with to long form. Then it's going to convert it to a long form. So next Friday as a long form let's find it which is very interesting so if i give it short it's going to give me as long if i give it long it's not giving me as short so if i change this one and i make it friday and then i want it in a short form i'm just going to go with short hope it doesn't change it so let's make it let's take out the next friday so that it looks totally different with the short form and then it's going to convert it to short form i think i made a mistake with here so this is going to be short form so that's see supposed to be short capital right so if i save it and i run it it's going to give it to us in the particular stuff that we had so let's give us a stairs i don't know why it always give us a stairs day i'm surprised i think maybe this could be an error it's always giving us a stairs day i don't know why no matter what you do it always give us a stairs day so let's change it from friday to something else let's give it as monday Let's see whether it's going to give us the same result. Monday, perfect. So this was okay. Of course, it's Monday. Let's make it Monday. Okay, perfect. So we we'll convert this one to Monday, which is very interesting. Okay, so these are some of the things you can do with this particular package when it comes to dates, right? Okay, so thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put that in the comment section so that your brother can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. Stay blessed.